Hi, we're with Nicole today. Um, Nicole's been with us for about a year. Uh, coming into the situation, um, what were your expectations of your level of treatment and what did you actually receive? Um, I didn't have any expectations to begin with because I've had massages before that didn't really make a difference. Um, also, I didn't know anything about cupping or gua sha or anything like that. So mm -hmm. um, it made a huge difference after my first time. I have increased mobility, increased flexibility. Um, everything doesn't hurt anymore. Also, you rehab my elbow, um, my tendonitis. They said it would be up to eight months. I was training again in four to six weeks and the orthopedic um, said that it was like unheard of. So just because you were working on it all the time. Mm -hmm. So um, Let me ask you about, um, I've heard a lot of people in the industry um, speak ill of the treatment, lack of knowledge with regards to even trying it. Um, they say that there's a placebo effect, that the relief that you feel is all in your head. Now, from what you've experienced, what do you have to say? Well, because they say stuff like, oh, I need um, scientific studies to right. prove it before they actually try it. And we know that most people in the fitness industry didn't read a, 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 a government study or something before they started working out to believe that it was going to work right. or they don't um, read, uh, you know, studies to prove that stretching helps. Right. They've just understood it to work because the multitude do it and they get the desired effect. Right. So what, what do you have to say about that? I mean, I know firsthand because it's worked for me. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, any injuries that I've had are all the way better, if not significantly better. Um, my strength has gone up. I'm, I'm, I was able to bench 225 for the first time ever mm -hmm. um, because of the rehab on my elbow. Um, and also, I mean, I've been in the fit fitness industry like 15 years. Pretty much every pro that I know does cupping and gua sha mm -hmm. uh, and deep tissue now. So if all of them are doing it, I mean, there they're has doing to be it for a reason. That right, if it didn't right. work. And they're, I mean, us as athletes, we're more in tune with our bodies than anybody else. So and we do it for work, money. We don't do it right. for being we a weekend not, warrior. Like, that's their job. That's right. what they do. That's how they make money. Mm -hmm. So if it didn't work, they wouldn't put the time, money, and effort into getting it done. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Um, with regards to the facility and training, um, do you believe that it's, adequate enough you know to be you know for you being as seasoned as you are um, does this facility provide you with the necessary equipment to achieve your fitness goals yeah it has everything that I need um, also it's the only place that I can bring my son with me um, no place else fits my schedule I like to train early in the morning I can't take my son to other fitness facilities um, their day cap daycare hours are like three hours a day also he gets to see what we do here and learn by example because you know he's already doing his little workouts and mm -hmm. boxing and everything now mm -hmm. so um it's convenient and you have everything that i need so okay last question with regards to the self-defense and the training that you've experienced and what you've witnessed here how do you believe the training has affected you? So much because I've been in abusive relationships. Um, it's given me confidence. Um, it's enhanced my fighting skills because I trained before like with MMA people and stuff like that, but nothing like what you do in as far as self-defense. So um, it really helped with bringing up my fighting skills and also self-defense because, like I said, I've been in a lot of abusive relationships. Mm -hmm. So um, it helped with confidence, too. So. Okay, Nicole. Thank you.